From a startup business to the world oyster shucking championships, it's been an amazing ride for Tide and Vines' Mike Langley. The original idea was to sell oysters at wineries, and now we have a, a catering department that's incredibly active. We've done several weddings. People bring us in for festivals all the time. We do deliveries to people's houses that are having a small party and they want lobster or crab or oysters. And then on top of that, we've started delivering uh, oysters and, and clams and shellfish and fresh fish to different restaurants and wineries and even food trucks in Niagara as well. How did you get involved with the wineries? What was that process like? Um, oysters and wine, it's a classic yeah. pairing that people have been doing forever. Um, and, and knowing that there wasn't really anybody down here that, that had a lot of experience or passion for working with oysters and clams and, and other shellfish, um, and realizing how many wineries there are in the area, it just made sense to start approaching them. And one of the first things that we did, actually the first job we ever did, was uh, last year in, in May of 2012, Peller Estates had the first Food Truck Eats uh, food truck rally, and it was 14 food trucks and 14 wines and uh, about 6,000 people showed up over the weekend. And that was the beginning of, of what we'd started and it was, it was quite a start, you know, not knowing what we're doing, stepping into a festival that big. And from there we realized that, uh, that people wanted it, you know. Tide and Vine has put a new twist on the phrase curb appeal. This restored Volkswagen van is their calling card. It's a 1974 Volkswagen. Uh, we gutted it, we had to take out the, the couch and the, the fridge in the sink and laid in some industrial flooring for loading all of our equipment in and out and everybody knows it so since we got it we were lucky we got it in the condition that it's in we basically put our logo on it uh, named her Pearl and uh, started driving around Niagara. The art of opening or shucking oysters has become Mike's specialty. This talent has led to him winning the Canadian Championship. Oysters is a fantastic oddball subculture of Canadiana that you can find in different pockets of Canada all over and uh, there's festivals and competitions all over. Last year, last summer, this summer, uh, we did the first annual Oyster Fest Niagara and we had a competition. It was our first year. We had 500 people come out including people, oyster shuckers from Montreal and Ottawa and Toronto came down to compete and and these people, this tight-knit group of oyster shuckers, we've all been shucking together for a long time and competing against each other. And we basically do a pilgrimage to any festival or competition that's happening. So in the competition season, it starts out with one of the biggest ones in Toronto, that's the Ontario uh, Oyster Festival. And then after that is the Canadians in Tyne Valley, Prince Edward Island. And if you win that in Tyne Valley PEI, you become the Canadian champion which earns you your place in Galway, Ireland for the World Oyster Shucking Championships, which I'll be going to in two weeks. It's, uh, it's, it's very exciting. Um, it's interesting seeing how many people already know that I'm going when we're doing service somewhere and people comment on it all the time. So obviously you have this sense of uh, obligation to, to do your people well. Uh, I'm just going to go do everything I can to do the best I can. The future of Tide and Vine includes more than Mike's trip to Ireland. The hope is to open an oyster bar sometime in the near future. In St. Catharines, for The Source, I'm Brenda Schultz.